We found out we were pregnant with twins uh, last or in February. They were due in October, and then they'd been monitoring me all along. Everything was going great, and then they uh, decided they did not want to be fall babies. They came much earlier than anticipated. We ended up going into the hospital because they had done some measurements and thought that they were maybe on their way, and I was in the hospital for about 10 days trying to keep them stable and where they were, and then all of a sudden, they we we realized that they were gonna come. They were born in July, July 23rd, and they were three months early. They were two pounds, two ounces each. They were yeah. um, the same weight. Penelope spent 54 days in the NICU, and Lily was in the NICU for 68 days, um, and before they were able to come home and be with us. I was pregnant, it was my first pregnancy. Um, Jeremiah is my only child. Um, so he wasn't supposed to be born until December 2009. He came in August 2009. So yes, he was very early. And when I was in labor, one of the doctors from the NICU, I still remember him, Dr. Herzlinger, he came and visited me in my room and he told me all about the NICU and what to expect. This is the first newborn intensive care unit in Fairfield County. Um, it started in 1976, and uh, I've been here since its inception. There's a um, spectrum of babies admitted. There are some babies who are bigger babies with transient problems, like breathing problems that are here for very brief periods of time, maybe 24 hours, 48 hours. And there's some tiny preemies who are 24, 25, 26 weeks gestation, and they're literally here for months. And uh, the parents are here every day, and we spend a lot of time with those parents and get to know those parents and their babies. Parents that have a premature baby, especially mothers, the first thing that they feel, one of the first things they feel is an incredible guilt, sense of guilt. So when they get to the neonatal unit, they're carrying guilt so they don't feel like they're a good parent when they get there. You wonder, had I been walking too much? Did I have too much caffeine? Um, did I not drink enough water? Because I have to stay hydrated and there's two of them and, you know, with some time and space from it, I think knowing their personalities that they <laughs> Lily was just done. She wanted out and she wasn't going to be constrained by anything. Um, but at the time, I mean, there's so many emotions and there's so many feelings that you had. When you go on preterm labor, you ask yourself, what could I have done differently? Or what did I do wrong? So I did have those feelings initially. And I have to say, though, with the NICU staff, they kind of helped me overcome some of those feelings with their support and being able to answer some of the questions I have and providing me with a lot of reassurance through the process. I'd sought treatment directly after because I was suffering from, you know, obviously grief and in postpartum depression, but I had post-traumatic stress as well. Every time I'd walk down that hall to go see my girls, I never knew, are they going to be under the lights? Um, and so I wouldn't be able to hold them. Are they going to be, you know, did something happen in the time from when I last spoke to the doctor? Um, you know, I'm sorry I get so emotional. Um, but is, is something new with them or is there going to be another family in there that I don't really want to be exposed to? Because it, when you see a medically fragile baby, it's unlike anything you've ever seen and it's, um, it's frightening. So, um, yeah, you can't help but feel like I didn't do right by them. The Bridgeport Hospital has probably the best medical team on staff with the worst environment for taking care of the babies and the parents. It needs to be renovated to be sure that the care of the babies and the care of the parents is at top, top level for what is recommended now. Years ago, the NICUs, the incubators were all lined up. They didn't know what they know now about the brain development of the babies and what they need. They also didn't know what they know now about the post-traumatic stress syndrome of the parents and the long-term effects that this has on a parent. If you can foster that environment right in the hospital setting, you are solving problems way down the road for these families. The fact that the mother can have the baby in the room alone enhances her ability to breastfeed the baby and that's clearly been shown to be one of the real interventions that can help improve the outcome. Other parts of the hospital, it's pro, you know, 
typically private rooms, like when you're delivering a baby, it's a private room and everything. So, so then to go up to the NICU where it's very open is it's kind of jarring, but to go up there and it would be, again, private rooms would be much less of a jarring transition from one area to another as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it would be, yeah. it makes me jealous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> to bring changes for, to help those families go through the emotional journey, the physical environment plays a lot into families' mental health and their emotional health. So if you can, you know, change the physical environment and make it inviting and make it friendly, to me, that is therapeutic. And you want your clients to have the best possible experience while they're in that NICU. So that's one start, is changing the physical environment. The care was, I mean, it was wonderful. The nurses, I thought, were very caring. We really made friends with a lot of them, and most of them during our time were just so helpful, and they cared about the girls especially, but I feel like they were really there for me as well, yeah. and I feel like I was their third patient. And they're great at getting you involved as soon as you can, and as soon as that's safe, like to obviously hold the baby. Like, I think we, we were able to hold them sooner than we thought when you're just kind of looking at them and there's wires everywhere and they're like, you want to hold the baby? You know, yeah, and you know, it, but then, you know, they'd say, oh, do you want to help change the diaper? Do you want to take the temperature? So they get you involved in the care so that you feel like a parent as soon as you can, rather than feeling like a patient just watching everything. I'm a big proponent of it because I've been in the hospital a lot, in Bridgeport Hospital, and seen the difference in the parents and the children that are in Bridgeport Hospital and how well they're doing because of the great doctor's care and the great nurse's care, but they could be doing even better if their environment is upgraded.